more patient than I've heard. Send all your incorrigible students to the lunchroom, my principal yelled through the cold metal box on the wall. Incorrigible, adjective, incurable, hopeless. And you look up at me at my young white face as I yell over my confusion, trying to suffocate the dissonance between my bright America and the scars on my student's arm. Right foot, green line. Children look back to see me over seeing through my shuttered eyes, fixed on their not yet broken bodies, filtered through faded uniforms. My head hurts, my breath stinks of coffee and no time to waste on hygiene while I train my students to walk straight, to swallow their humanity. Walk straight with no spark for electricity let alone lightning would bring our school cops spilling with purpose and routine. Gun, taser, nightstick on hip, ready to make impressions in children like dented drywall. In my classroom, I smell our stress in the ceiling mold. My body is cop-shaped. My word could send you to a cage or could help send you to college to keep the gates in exchange for boundless debt. Where else can we go? Pointing at our objective, I try to smile at the whiteboard, writing your names, underlining your names, starring your names, while we wait. No one wants to be here. Guards and prisoners like tarnished nails and broken glass and heavy rocks. The fire alarm crushes. Our adrenal glands, I see it flash on your faces like a slow red strobe in hell for the fourth time today. I guess I oversee the dark edge of education reform. Or am I at the center? I was asked to teach for America. Remind me, whose America needs reform? Have you read about this in the New York Times? Because I see restructured lives still soaked and shaking under fresh boots with a short shelf life, dismantled communities still broke being shaken dry. My friends and my pockets fill. And our America is taking applications.